factor 2x squared plus 7x minus 15. We can't use the exact same method that we used in the last section here because there's a leading coefficient of 2 on the x squared and there's no GCF that we can factor out. So we can't get rid of that leading coefficient. We're stuck with it. So this ends up being a bit different than the ones we looked at in the last section. There are two different ways that we usually factor trinomials that have leading coefficients other than one. One of those is called trial and check, and the other is called the AC method. Different instructors use different methods. Some really focus on trial and check, and some of them don't really do trial and check and focus on the AC method. When I teach this topic, I usually do one example with trial and check, and then afterwards I focus on the AC method. And with these videos, I'm only going to focus on the AC method. I am not going to use trial and check because it's not my preferred method. And so I'm only going to use the AC method. Now with the AC method, there's a few different steps that we have to cover. And I'm going to write out what the steps are first, and then afterwards we're going to use the steps on this problem. So the AC method is used when we're factoring a trinomial in the form AX squared plus BX plus C, where that leading coefficient's not 1. In this case, the leading coefficient's 2, so this is a great example for the AC method. So the first step is to find the product AC. A times C. That's why it's called the AC method, because we're looking for the product A times C. It ends up being an important number in the calculations. Once we know what that product is, we're going to play a similar game to what we did before, where we're looking for two numbers with a particular sum and a particular product. But what we want in this case is we want to find two numbers whose product is that number AC and whose sum is B. So we're looking for two numbers that have a product of AC and a sum of B. And this will make a lot more sense when we actually do an example where we have numbers but we're still going to be finding two numbers with a particular sum and a particular product, just like we did in the previous examples. But we're going to do something different with these numbers. Once we find these numbers, we're going to use these numbers to split the middle term. which will make more sense, again, when we look at an example. And once we've done that, we're going to finish factoring. So we're going to factor by grouping. These are the instructions for the AC method. Let's go through and do an example. In this problem, we have 2x squared plus 7x minus 15. So step one asks us to find the product a times c. In this case, a is 2 and c is negative 15. So that product is going to be 2 times negative 15, which is negative 30. So ac in this case is going to be negative 30. Now we're ready to move on to step two. And step two asks us to find two numbers whose product is AC and whose sum is B. So we're looking for two numbers that have a product equal to AC, which in this case is negative 30, and a sum of B, which in this case is 7. So we're looking for two numbers that have a product of negative 30 and a sum of 7. Now, in the previous problems, I would write out all the different ways to get a product of negative 30 and find the sum uh, that's correct. But 
Here, we're just going to do it in our heads. Usually at this point, students are pretty good at this game. The two numbers that have a product of negative 30 and a sum of 7 are going to be negative 3 and 10. Negative 3 times 10 is negative 30, and negative 3 plus 10 is 7. So we've got our two numbers, and then step 3 tells us what we're going to do with them. We're going to use these numbers to split the middle term. Now, I want to look at the middle term here. The middle term is 7x. What we're going to do is we're going to split that up into two terms. We're going to split that 7x up into negative 3x and positive 10x. And we're still going to keep the 2x squared out front, and we're going to still going to keep that negative 15 at the end. So what we've effectively done is we've rewritten this trinomial as a new polynomial that has four terms, right? 7x is equal to negative 3x plus 10x. So this is an equivalent polynomial. But what this has done for us is it's split everything up into four terms in just the right way that we can factor by grouping. Let's take a look. In the first group, if we look at 2x squared minus 3x, both of those terms have an x in common. So we can pull out an x and the leftovers are 2x minus 3. In the second group, both of those terms have a 5 in common, so we're going to pull out the 5, leaving us with 2x and negative 3 for leftovers. Now we've got the same thing in each set of parentheses, so that's going to be our GCF of the two groups. So we've got 2x minus 3, and then the leftovers from the groups are going to be x plus 5, and we end up with our factorization 2x minus 3 times x plus 5. 